Hi, this is God's Airsofters, and I'm Delta One, and this is January of 09, Airsoft News. Another great year for Airsoft. The next, the first thing I want to get on this agenda is I want to introduce our new support gunner, Arson, as he will be coming over here, and he's going to watch his step. Make sure he doesn't step on any of the crap I have in my garage. Now, just look at the camera, and be like, wave. <laughs> Now get out of here. Anyways, first thing I want to get on the agenda is we're going to be doing a review on the Galaxy MP5 PDW. We have duct tape on it. The mag looks like crap. We know. It's been battle-hardened mag, and this gun's okay. But anyways, moving on. The next news on the agenda, I have a Marusian MP5K gas-powered gun. Um, I don't know anything about gas-powered guns, so if anyone knows anything that can help me repair it, because we have a problem, you know, when we, we fill it up with gas and we shoot it, we go like that and it goes, but it doesn't doesn't go full. We have to go like that every time to shoot it. So if anyone can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Um, so thanks, yeah. Anyways, moving on, I want to talk about the G36 series from JG. Um, they are come. they've finally, after, like, a year and a half, they're like, oh, well, we should release, like, a G36K. Duh. Finally, they released that a couple months, like, a month or two ago. So then they decided, and I was like, you know, what about the one from, like, Raw 2? We want the one with the built-in scope. So they came out with the G36KE. With a three-time scope, you can get that from Airsoft GI, for, I don't, I don't know, it's going to be like uh, in the 150 range. Um, you can finally, I'm so happy, they finally, someone came out with the G36E, the MG variant. They came out with both variants, their top rail, with the rail on the top, and the scope version. So we're acquiring one of them, and we plan to be the first people to review it. It is our one of three support weapons that our Arson has as our support gunner. We will also be acquiring an M60E4, not an A&K one. We're going to get the uh, Ares. I'm going to move on to that and talk about that. So anyways, talking about the Ares, um, that's a new company that came out. They've been out for a while. Um, they have, like, this is their whole line, and Kapowie.com will be carrying them because they're good. Um, they will have the M60E4, the M60E4 with rails, the Mark 46, the L85, the M16, and all different variants. They have like two or three different variants, four probably. Same with the M4, they have a couple variants of that. And M14, the entire G36 line, including the SL8 and the SL9. Awesome. And it's affordable too. And they're good parts. We'll be showing you hopefully later on in maybe a month or two. A UMP45, a SCAR light and a SCAR heavy, and an FN FAL and an FN F. Wait, an FN FNC, which is the compact or carbine variant, whatever the proper term or name is. We're also gonna be moving on. We're gonna be reviewing the JG614. Um, we will be reviewing that very soon. We have acquired it. Um, we had to. Someone was like, oh, my gun broke. There was just two wires that were not connected in here. So, it's fine. And my god, it has an unbelievable rate of fire. It is awesome. For how much you pay? $180 from most places. Next on the agenda, I want to talk about the Echo One Tactical AK. This is owned by our Freezer. He is our recon guy. So, he has a red dot ACOG, which is cool. I love it. It's awesome. Has a folding foregrip, and uh, we're going to be doing a review on this very soon. So that'll be within the next two months because we have so many guns to review because we want to meet your expectations. Moving on, this gun is also Arson's gun for close quarters. He has this gun, so this is his Vector Arms AK. Um, I personally love this gun. I wanted to get it. But my dad wouldn't let me, so I ended up getting to hold it anyway. 
It, I love it. It's awesome. Moving on. We always... I, I, I haven't mentioned it before, but I know I've mentioned it once or twice. I was like, oh, I have a G3, and it's super awesome. Well, I finally decided to show you what it looks like fully decked out. This is my classic army, SR Sport Match M41 G3. It has the JG tactical rails with the Alienware side bipod, an XM M203 from Madbull, foregrip, sniper, bud plate, and all that good stuff, a Leapers 6x32 illuminated scope, a Hero Arms 2500 auto line double drum. My god. I do not want to be shot by this, but I have to in order to use it. So it sucks to be me. But I love it. I will be doing a review on the body. I will not do a shooting test for this because it is upgraded insanely. I spent $1,200 total. So if you're going to make a comment, oh my gosh, you wasted that much money. You could have gotten like an SKS or you could have gotten an M4. Or you could have gotten this and that. You know what? You can't shoot a people with a real firearm every day and get away with it. And I'm not going to be a serial killer. I'm a man of God. Kind of. You can comment on that, and you're probably going to give me some sarcastic stuff about it. I don't care. I am a follower of God. whoop de doo Next thing on the agenda is this. The L96 by our squad member, Kronk. I want to thank every single viewer, 2,749 last time I checked. I want to say thank you. Because when we found out we had that many views and y'all liked it that much, we decided to buy a new camera, yeah! So we ended up going through two cameras, which is why we didn't film for like three weeks. So I really am sorry about that. We haven't been commenting as much because we decided to take a break for Christmas because, well, we didn't expect that much. So I'm sorry about that. We went through two cameras. Two! Finally got this one and it works. This is the second one. Um, the first one I bought for PC Rush, and it wouldn't zoom in, and they were like, well, you can have all your money back, like 15%. What? 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 No. Unacceptable. You know, kind of just yelled at him on the phone for like five minutes, and was like, you know what, give me my money back. All of it. It's like, that's, that's stupid. I'm really mad at it. So I ended up getting my money back. Hooray for me. Well, Christmas came and gone. It was a good Christmas for us. Um, Freezer was gonna get a 7 inch dragon from WE Tech, but Sand didn't drop it off, so. Sorry, Freezer. I got something and you didn't. Well, you did, but anyways. Um, Chronic got a Tack Master by WE Tech. It's a, uh, uh, it's a high cappy or whatever they're called. So we'll be doing a review on that also. And, uh, well, knowing me, I'm just like, you know. I have to get something good for Christmas. So I got too impatient and got the Saw by a and &K. And you know what? I love it. 2,400, 2,500 rounds of... Oh my God. I love it. Yeah. Anyways, um, you're probably going to laugh at me. I'm just trying to keep it real. Just acting like a complete goofball. But I'm also giving news. Um, we spent 279, 270 bucks on it. We love it. So, and yes... I want to make a special mention to Smoggy Yapper. Thanks for sending me a friend request on Xbox Live. Also, DJ Sniper. I'm, he was the first to send me friends request, so I want to say thank you for choosing us. And Airsoft XD, we will be doing a special presentation of the saw, and we will have probably three videos on an in-depth review, a review, and a shooting test. So that's just for y'all. I want to say thank you for y'all. This is January of 09. And this is Gods Air Softers, Delta One out.